There's the lineup for the 5,000 metres. Steph Twirl of Great Britain will be struggling in this sort of company. I suspect Jenny Simpson, the silver medalist in the World Championship 1500 metres. Molly Huddle of the USA looking to improve her American record here tonight. But there are the big names, the Ethiopians in particular, the Debaba sisters with Turanesh Debaba, perhaps the greatest distance runner in history, the world champion at 10,000 metres from Moscow, up against Mesut against Defar, the world champion at 5,000 metres in the Russian capital. And there is no love lost between them at all. Indeed, they refuse to fly here to Switzerland on the same flight, we were told this morning. Well, Jordan Hasse, under the uh, guidance of Alberto Salazar, has worked wonders this year. Making it through to the World Championships, where she played 10, 12th in the 10,000. Molly Huddle in the green there. The US record, which is uh, 14.44. Surprisingly slow, frankly, considering the quality of US distance running. It really is due to some serious revision, those uh, US figures. There is the camera there, 10. Genzebe de Baba, the world indoor champion at 1,500 metres last year. There's Mercy Chirona silver medalist at the World Championships over 5,000 metres. She is one of the very few athletes here tonight who could threaten the big pairing of Tiranesh de Baba. And uh, they call her the tiny destroyer. She is just incredible. Unbeaten this year, Tiranesh de Baba. President de Far, well, the Olympic champion last year in London at 5,000 and back in 2004. World champion from Moscow, as I said. And she won a very quick 3,000 metres in Stockholm last week. The world best for this year. She's come off the World Championships well, whereas many athletes were really tired last week in Sweden. So there are two, two pacemakers in this 17 athlete field. She wins 5,000 incidentally. She's only been held here twice before. Tibaba winning in 2006 and Vivian Chariot absent this season, winning uh, two years ago. And it's Meseret Defar with uh, Turanesh Tabava on 10 points and 8 points respectively in the diamond race. Winner takes all in effect. Although uh, there are one or two here who could get amongst them. Away they go then. 12 and a half laps of the track. First pacemaker is due to be the Gandon, Janet Achola. We're looking for uh, a first kilometre in about 2.55. The other pacemaker in the yellow there is uh, Gabrielle Anderson of the USA, who is uh, no slouch herself. I'm a little surprised, actually, to see her as a pacemaker, Anderson. She came second in the London Diamond League, 3,000 metres. She's had a fabulous season as the American. But it is a Chola who leads from Anderson as they come down uh, below us. The pace looks pretty healthy. Well, you know, Tim, Tyrannish de Barbie, you mentioned her earlier. She in fact had to sleep in the airport in Rome overnight en route here so the fact that they don't uh, fly on the same flights worked against her on this uh, occasion she says that's not going to affect her at all uh, we shall see but uh, this big big battle between these uh, two athletes and of course remember there's such rivalry look forward to the great north run north of England on the 15th of September they're going to compete over a half marathon and that'll be something and uh, they both very close in terms of their performances. Uh, De Barber won the event last year, and De Fire won uh, a half marathon in uh, New Orleans earlier on this year. So it's uh, something to look forward to. And also Mo Farah, Haile Gabriselassie, and Kenanisa Bekele all there in that uh, race in the Great North Run. So look forward to that. The rivalry starts here, and it continues in the United Kingdom. Achola from Anderson, Gladys Torono in second place. Genzebe de Barba in uh, fourth behind uh, Torono. And then the tall striding figure right up on her toes in the blue shorts there in fifth place is uh, Mercy Torono. The big names at the moment remaining uncommittal. Tiranesh de Barba in sixth, Deriba in seventh. And de Barba at the moment right towards the back of the field looking very, very uh, cautious through these early laps. We're looking for a first kilometre of 2.55, so 70 seconds per lap. They're coming up towards 800 metres now. We'd be wanting something around 2.20, and this looks pretty good. Pretty useful pace making that. Yeah, about 2.21 at 800 metres. We earlier that this 5,000 metres is very much a race rather than a pace to fair, and they have got pacemakers out there, but uh, the first pacemaker at Chola's dropped out. They went through 2,000 in 5.57.9, that second kilometre, well outside three minutes, outside 3.01 in fact, 
most of the field are still in touch. The only athlete who's really struggling and is a long way off the pace is Jordan Hasse, who looked pretty dreadful last week in Stockholm, frankly, and clearly she's not 100% the American. But the rest of them are there behind Anderson, who's uh, leading them round. They come through five laps, or six laps there, about uh, 7.09. But they were a long way, almost eight seconds off the... Uh, plan schedule at 2000 so if we get quick time this is the race still glad it's Chirono in second place in the yellow there in third place in the yellow crop top it's Gensebe de Baba Molly Huddling Green on the inside Tiranesh de Baba paying a little bit more attention now in fourth place still towards the back is the event leader the diamond race leader coming into this tonight de Bar, but it's very tightly bunched that group of ten well, there's hardly anything in it. They come through below us with six laps to go. And uh, Anderson checking her watch. Another 71.6 lap. He's going through, clicking by. Too slow, frankly. So you really need to be a couple of seconds quicker than that. It doesn't matter because it's the race that we're featuring tonight. And it is very much the focus is on Defar against Tiranesh Tibaba. Tiranesh Tibaba going to win the Diamond League uh, event here three years back and uh, got nipped on the line by Defar, denying her there that one stride, $40,000, and apparently that uh, pretty much put the last nail in the coffin in their relationship. But Anderson working hard there out in front for the USA, doing a good job at the moment. They're beginning to tail off, and Jenny Simpson amongst those who's struggling. She's probably 20 metres off the... Uh, front and certainly six or eight meters of the back of the group now which is what about 11 strong huddle is there towards the back anderson working really hard still glad it's Toronto in second and zebe de baba having a much better run here tonight than she did in uh, stockholm last week where she finished in eighth place but tiranesh de baba rather ominously in third uh, the point we were making about jenny simpson is that the the way in which some people adapt from 15 to 5,000, some can do it and some can't. And it's a very interesting con a concept, that. If but Defar, De look at this, Tim. Defar is now taking close order, look, on uh, Tiranish de Barber. The two de Barbers, then, of course, you've got Defar. Both of them very, very quick finishes. And we've seen this in the past. We've got Olympic champions versus world champions. They are, as you began the commentary by saying, two of the greatest of all time and uh, they really are wonderful to watch well of course the challenge is that a 1500 meter race is a, is a middle distance race 5000 meters is more than three times the distance it's a huge jump and while most 1500 meter runners can manage 3000 with uh, not too much trouble 5000 is way beyond their zone generally speaking it is Gladys Chirono though the silver medalist in the world championships over 10,000 meters who leads with three and a half laps to go in this 5000 she will want to push it on hard, I'd have thought, here, Toronto. She's not a particularly attractive mover, but uh, she's doing a good job at the moment. Well, this is Shustov, incidentally, Alexander Shustov of Russia, the European champion in 2002. And now we seem to have the race. It's the Genezeb uh, Dibaba leading, Tiranish in second place, and, of course, Defar in third. I can't wait to see them in, in that great north running that half marathon, these two, because they've never competed in a half marathon before. Fantastic, absolutely to look forward to. Just over two laps to run. The world indoor champion at 1,500 metres. The younger sister, Genzebe de Baba, leads. Grimacing now as she comes into the straight. Kiranesh de Baba, her elder sister, right on her shoulder. In third place, de Faro has moved up now. Mercy Toronto in the red top in fourth place. They're all there with 800 metres to run. But it's not been particularly quick. 3K was in 8.54. That was a 2.57. Four kilometres, 11.52. So that was only a 2.58. It's gone 2.56, 3.01, 2.57, 2.58. Pedestrian stuff by the standards of these ladies, frankly. And Tiranesh de Baba and de Far both have vicious kicks. De Far has won her last two races, the World Championships in Moscow and Stockholm last week over 3,000 with sub-60 second closing laps. And de Far there just moving onto the shoulder of her sister, knows full well. And now she hits the front and it's going to be a long drive for home by the looks of things. And we're down to the big three. Tiranesh de Baba, Nazareth de Far, Mercy Chirono there. In the third place, the World Championship silver medal over 5,000 meters. Winner of the Kenyan trials, already beginning to struggle. There's a little gap there behind the second Ethiopian. 
the rest of them are some way back and that gap has opened very quickly and Chilin Eshtababa is doing this the hard way Tafar has got the challenge now they hit the bell there in 13.35 or thereabouts a 67 second penultimate lap here come the fireworks folks because it's the big two by almost any criteria Chilin Eshtababa is perhaps the greatest distance runner in history and with 300 metres to run, she finds another gear. To fire in her slipstream. Looks stretched now. The gap is one and a half metres. But staying that way, no impression yet from this kick from the world champion at 10,000. The world record holder, let's not forget, at 5,000 metres. With the previous world record holder on her shoulder in second. And moving onto her shoulder now. 150 to run. Sibaba, Sifar. Has Sifar got her this time yet again? They come into the straight, and Tiranesh Dababa grimacing, and Dafar kicks away, and it's going to be an emphatic victory for the world champion of 5,000 over her distance. This is her territory, she'll be yelling for herself. And the winning time, 14.32.84. Her last lap, I got at 58.4, but that's with Dababa going through the line. So the chances are that uh, the father has covered her last lap in under 58 seconds. Fabulous finishing speed from the pair of them, and what a great race. But Tiranesh Tababa will be one very, very unhappy world champion and world record holder to lose here tonight. The rest of them pour across the line. Jenny Simpson there, I think, just going under 15 minutes, but many, many uh, metres back from the battle up front. Solid pacemaking, I think, from Machola and Anderson but it was a race over the last kilometre that really counted. Yes, and I think that uh, very much with the uh, form book, isn't it? Uh, with uh, De Defar on 10 points and Debarba on 8, so Defar is the diamond winner, and uh, on the basis of this race, and a fabulous last uh, 400 metres on this uh, 5,000 metres, she really is an elegant uh, competitor, formidable competitor, and on this occasion, Tiranish Debarba has to give way. Defar has had a very, very good season, hasn't she? Two Olympic titles, eight years apart. She's come back onto the scene. And uh, that look from uh, Tiranish Dibaba, I think, says it all. Well, just looking at that uh, final kilometre, 11.52 at four kilometres, the winning time, 14.32. So 2.40 for the final kilometre. That's... Uh, 208 pace uh, for 800 metres indeed, 4 minute pace for 1500 metres, so their last 1500 tonight will have been down and round the 404, 405 region. Medellin de Far, one very, very happy winner here tonight, as you point out, Stuart, quite rightly. Unbeaten since uh, long before Moscow. Confirmation of that win then. 14.32.83 from Medret to Far ahead of Dibaba. Mercy Toronto in third place with the season's best. Chibet in fourth. Gladys Toronto in fifth. Jenny Simpson, 14.56. A person.